David was born in February 1998 and Sam was born in March 1993. Their father shared that amount of money in the ratio of their ages before he died in 2023. Write, the first question says, write down David and Sam's ages in April of 2023. Okay, let's start with um, David. So David was born in February, February of 1998. So let's quickly take him to February of 2023. Well, that would put him at um, 25 years old. Okay, you might just need to think about that for yourself, but he's 25 years old. And so that would be in February, but because we are in April, that means he's had his birthday, and so he is 25 years old. Now, um, Sam, well, Sam was born in March 1993. That's actually my birth year, <laughs> um, 1993. So 1993, and if we go to March of 2023, um, that would be 30 years old. Now, if it's April, well, that person's already had their birthday, and so we, we don't have to worry about have they had their birthday or not, because it's already April. Okay, so that is how old these guys are. Now it says, write down, um, okay, so we've done that. This question says, calculate the amount that Sam and David will each receive. Okay, so forget about this, forget about this. Can you remember how to divide a number into ratios? For example, if I take the number 12 and I divide it into three people, Adam, um, Busi, and Kelvin, all right? And let's say that Adam is going to get the ratio of six, um, Busi is going to get a ratio of four, and Kelvin's going to get a ratio of two. Actually, let's simplify that. Uh, three to two to one, for example. Then how do we div how do we say how much this person gets, how much this person gets, and how much this person gets? Well, you take this number and you divide that number by, or maybe let's write divide, by all of these numbers added together. So three plus two plus one is six, and that'll give you two. So that number there, you then multiply. So for A, you would say two multiplied by three, for B, you would say 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. And then for C, you would multiply 2 multiplied by 1, and that would give you 2. So that means that this person will get 6 out of the 12. This person, Busi, would get 4 out of the 12. And this person, Colvin, would get 2 out of the 12 parts. Okay? So we need to know the total number. And so that would be this number over here. And then you need to you need to then be able to add these numbers together. So the way that it would work in this example is we are gonna have um, 409,750 Rand being split up for David and Sam. Now David, oh, okay, so they get split up in the ratio of their ages. So David, 25, Sam, 30. If you add these two numbers together, that would be 55. Okay, so we'll say 25, plus 30 is 55, and then we're gonna go 409750 divided by 55. Just like in the previous example I showed you, we said 12 divided by six, and if we work that out, we get 7,450 Rand. Okay, so now for David, you're gonna say 7,450 multiplied by his part, 25, and that'll give us 186,000 Rand. 186,250. Now, to work out Sam, you could also use the same technique, or you could just take this number minus whatever David gets, okay? But I'm gonna stick to the normal approach. I'm gonna say um, 7450 multiplied by 30, and that'll be 223,000. 500 rand. Now, you could also add these two numbers together just to make sure that they do add up to the original because that would mean that you've probably done this correctly. So I'm going to quickly add them together here on my calculator quickly. Plus 223500. Yes, it gives us exactly 409750. So we can be confident that we've done this correctly.